92.7 WMAY. It's time to check in once again with the Springfield Convention and Visitors Bureau. It's always a pleasure to welcome Sarah Wagner back to talk about all the things that are going on. And Sarah, spring is really in the air now, and that means just a lot of activities in the weeks and months ahead. We're going to run through a whole bunch of these here today. Absolutely. So we are super excited at Visit Springfield and the Springfield Convention and Visitors Bureau to be back at full speed, um, hit the ground running, pun intended, with the Lincoln Presidential Half Marathon April 1st. So that's a great event. So definitely if you're into, into running, come out and, and enjoy that. I would be watching on the sidelines because I can't do a half marathon, but that's a great one. We also see so many attractions opening up again. Um, we're really kicking off in April. We see the week the grand opening weekend of the Route 66 drive-in, April 7th and 8th. The Carillon concerts at the Thomas Reese Memorial Carillon are back again in April. So that does run all season through the fall and even sometimes in the winter. Um, so you can definitely check our website for that. The Illinois Department of Natural Resources Walk, Hike, Bike series is back. Those are great educational tours. They really allow you to immerse yourselves in a variety of different subject matters. Highly recommend. I've done all of them. I think they're super fun, very educational, but also really give you a new perspective. So those are back April through November. And Sarah, um, I want to dive into those just a little bit because yeah. as you said, there's a lot of different uh, opportunities here depending upon you know what people want to do, different lengths, but also different subject matters to explore. This is really interesting. There's a, a Friends of Lincoln hike that takes you through uh, Oak Ridge Cemetery yes. and you learn more about uh, Abe Lincoln's contemporaries. Uh, the military history hike, uh, also again through Oak Ridge with uh, you know the resting places of, of a number of veterans. But then as you said, the, uh, the history bike tours uh, between five miles or you can go up as much as uh, eight miles and really get uh, a, a great perspective and a great look at uh, some of the things we sort of take for granted around here in terms of our, our history and the, the landmarks in our community. Absolutely. These are actually one of my personal favorite tours. Again, as I said, I've done done them all and I it just really offers a nice immersive educational experience. It kind of makes everything come to life, come to full circle. Um, and there are such a variety of depending on your activity level like the hikes are definitely hikes you're going through some of the oldest parts of the cemetery um the bike rides are very nice um, but then there are some downtowns just walking on paved flat surfaces um so for instance the 1908 race ride walking tour excellent tour it is not as intense as the the hike through the cemetery so right. lots of different opportunities yeah 60 to 90 minutes so again uh, people with lots of different uh, skill and ability levels can find something that they will really enjoy uh, not too strenuous uh, very relaxing and again uh, a new insight into our rich history here locally and of course again at the end we will provide the website where you can get all the details all the information on all of these events that we're talking about here as we're talking with sarah wagner springfield convention and visitors bureau uh jumping ahead to a little bit later in april the city of Springfield's annual Earth Awareness Fair coming up. Yes, so again, this event is going to be in a partnership with the, Hen with the Henson Robinson Zoo. So it will be um, April 22nd. So the annual Earth Awareness Fair at the Henson Robinson Zoo. It is a free event um, for all, all ages. Um, and then we also have a couple other new Exhibits that have opened up since we last spoke, um, the grand opening of the Here I Have Lived exhibit at the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Museum opened. Really great event talking about living individuals who have lived in Illinois, what home means to people, very nicely put together. Um, so make sure you check that out. That is goes through March of 2020. Or excuse just, me, January of 2024. Right. So. And I got a, a chance to, to see that right before it opened. They were still actually putting the finishing touches on it. But you're right. Really a spectacular exhibit. So many really interesting stories of Illinoisans, both famous and, and heretofore unknown. Uh, but you'll get a chance to experience all of those at the Presidential Museum. And that's free with your regular museum admission. Uh, and speaking of history, History Comes Alive is back this summer as well. Yes, so we have launched the 2023 History Comes Alive schedule. You can find that on our visitspringfieldillinois.com website. 
will be in partnership with a lot of our key major um, site, Abraham Lincoln sites, attractions, but also our Route 66 sites. It's a very diverse schedule, so make sure you check that out. We are also offering a free shuttle to New Salem on Saturday morning. So that's a really great option for travelers coming in who don't have a way to get out there. So they can book that and then any remaining seats will be allocated on a first come first serve basis that Saturday morning. And then one of the most exciting things for 2023 is the giant slide for the first time in history at the Illinois State Fairgrounds will be open seasonally, weather permitting, <laughs> um, from May to August. So we're really excited about that. Individuals can come on Saturday, so it's just Saturday, um, but you can slide down Route 66. As you know, the Illinois State Fair, well, you might not know, the Illinois State Fairgrounds are on Route 66, so we put a big giant Route 66 shield on the giant slide. You can slide down it. It's a lot of fun. I promise you won't want to do it just once. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's one of my favorite things going all the way back to childhood. And even though I, I would love if they could put it in an elevator someday, because that's a long climb up those stairs. It is uh, right. but it's definitely worth it, uh, that, uh, that trip down the slide. Uh, and, of course, we have seen governors and presidential mm -hmm. candidates and Abe Lincoln himself slide down the giant slide mm -hmm. over the years. And now with that Route 66 connection, really exciting to have that, not just, just during state fair time, but as you said, every mm -hmm. Saturday uh, starting in May and running uh, through the summer and, and through the fair then. So uh, really great uh, opportunity to uh, enjoy that, to bring friends in from out of town and show them this little slice of uh, Springfield, something really unique to us uh, that we've been able to preserve and hang on to here. And then of course, uh, again, uh, information and all of these and so many other events and activities are always available, not just online, but also at the uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau Visitor Center downtown. And you're heading into your uh, summer hours then. Yes, we are. So again, you can always find this information online at visitspringfieldillinois.com. You can follow us on social media at Visit Springfield, or you can visit us at the Springfield Visitor Center. We are in the Lincoln Herndon Law Office building in downtown Springfield, one South Old State Capitol Plaza, and we are entering our summer, spring, summer hours. And so you can find us open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4.30. So again, Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And we're happy to give you any information, whether you're a visitor or you're a local, we definitely encourage you to come use us as a great resource. We can always help you navigate um, any of these, I, these, um, tours or events, and we definitely are happy to help. But log on to visit SpringfieldIllinois.com. Yeah, tremendous resource, as you said, for for visitors, but also for locals alike. So take advantage of it and experience all the great things our community has to offer here. Sarah Wagner, Springfield Convention and Visitors Bureau, always a pleasure. Thanks so much. Great talking to you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Here on 92.7 WMAY.